And of course, you know it's radical if it's being sponsored by Hollywood or people that want to be in Hollywood, people that want to be really known. We keep coming back to this country artist who is not well-known, Maren Morris, but she's becoming more and more extreme in her rhetoric for drag queens because she thinks, hey, you know what? I actually cannot sell out an arena by myself. I cannot be the headline person at an arena like Taylor Swift can based on talent. So I, I am hoping that if I keep saying more and more radical things to support things like children chopping their penises off or taking puberty blockers or uh, appeasing drag queens, then maybe that'll be my audience. Maybe I'll have so many LGBTQIA plus people that just love me anyways. That's her strategy. She's not talented, so she is going to wokeism. People do this. It's a strategy. Well, Maren Morris, of course, was not headlining uh, the other day at Bridgestone Arena. She was just there to sing one of her songs, and she couldn't miss the opportunity to talk about how she exposes her child to drag queens. Take a listen. And yes, I introduced my son to some drag queens today, so Tennessee, f arrest me. That was at an LGBTQ benefits concert held at Nashville's Bridgestone Arena. Arrest me, Tennessee. I'm so brave. Yes, I put my two-year-old in front of a drag queen. Arrest me. Okay, I know that there's not actually a law against putting my two-year-old in front of a drag queen in Tennessee. But if I say it, then maybe some more gays and lesbians and transies will see it and they'll want to download my music. So I'm just going to keep leaning into this. Not the first time, by the way. She also appeared on RuPaul's Drag Race, and she broke down crying in front of drag queens. Watch this freak show. And coming from country music and its relationship with, like, LGBTQ plus right. members, I just want to say I'm sorry, and I love you guys for making me feel like a brave voice in country music. So... I just thank, thank you, you so guys much. for yeah. inspiring me. I'm going to cry. I need to go. <laughs> you do need to go, Marin. It is just, the pandering here is just absolutely ridiculous. Why don't you go work on some songs, turn out some hits, and get people to want to follow you and admire you based on you living a wholesome life and based on you having actual talent, not based on you pandering to the LGBTQ plus community while disrespecting the fans that even put you in the position that you are in today, country music fans. How disgusting. You know, that downloader music she's just saying in front of drag queens. I, I just, where I'm from, where like people are downloading my music, it's just like, especially where I'm from, it's just so bad. It's just like they're horrible people. Please accept me. Accept me. So absolutely disgusting. And I do hope that she keeps leaning into this because eventually she will trip herself up. Eventually she will admit to doing a crime, which as we've seen happen over and over again. People are so radical in the ology that eventually they admit they've done something wrong. And let me tell you something right now, Maren Morris, when you do, I will be the first one to call the police and contact the governor's office. I am a proud Karen, a proud defender of children. So when you take that next step, I don't know, maybe you're gonna help your child transition so that you can hold them up on stage and say, looky, looky, my child is trans. Please know that it will be Candace Owens, proud Karen number one that will call the police on you and your husband. It'll be me. Probably Matt Walsh will try to beat me, but I will personally make sure that I am the one that makes the first phone call. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. Of course, we will be back tomorrow. Of course, you know I'm going to have to make this pitch. We do have some exciting, exclusive content that is coming up on Daily Wire Plus. And you can click the link in the description. You can subscribe to Daily Wire Plus right now. Don't forget to come back tomorrow. As usual, there'll be a brand new episode. See you then.